competitive inhibition ELISA is very similar to the radio medium assay, uh, a video that I did a while ago. So here's how it works. So we are going to have some antigen here, which we can bind commercially, which is going to be labeled um, with a, some uh, enzyme here. For example, host horseradish peroxidase, for example. We'll talk about this a bit later. And we want to find what is the concentration of the same antigen into the patient serum, for example. <clears throat> So, for that reason, we are going to use a specialized ELISA plate, which has a high affinity to bind proteins, okay? So, the, our monoclonal high affinity antibody is going to be bound in the plate. So, now, it's important that uh, before we start doing any ex experiments here, we have to block all the unoccupied side of the plate with usually bovine serum albumin or TWIN20, Okay, so these sites will be blocked and it's important to block the sites because all these uh, proteins that we analyze can stick actually to the plate and give you a background signal. So we're going to block the plate, right? So now we, have, we can actually add both labeled and unlabeled antigens or both the labeled antigen and the analyte to the plate. So now you realize that there will be a competition between the labeled and labeled antigens for the antibody. So if the concentration of these two is equal, the signal observed with the plate will be 50% less when compared to the antigen alone. So <coughs> to estimate the actual concentration of the antigen, you can build a standardized curve. The standardized curve will be uh, when the known the labeled antigen, okay, like this, will... Um, you can dilute it out, okay, starting from zero dilution, in which we have 100% relative light units, and you dilute it out until you have nothing. So ideally, the curve is going to be a linear downward curve. Then when you mix both, you can estimate what is the percentage inhibition that you receive by just measuring the RLU. You can plot, okay, what is the estimated you know, a concentration of the unlabeled antigen. And you can say, for example, if these two are equal, you'll have a 50% inhibition and you know exactly what is the concentration of the analyte. Okay, so that's all that is.